Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire Victoria's Secret and Pink um, Body Care collection. I'm actually going to start from the bottom this time just because right here is, I feel like, going to be the most popular out of everything. Actually, maybe the whole bottom row because I know that this collection was really popular too. And then I'll actually work my way up. So, uh, I have been collecting for a couple years. There are still a couple things that I do still want from the Victoria's Secret Body Care Collection. Um, one thing off the top of my head would be the Love Spell um, Mist. It's similar to the Pure Seduction, but I actually ran out of that not too long ago. Anyway, um, but this is my entire Victoria's Secret Body Care Collection. So down here I have the Bombshell 250 milliliter 8.4 fluid ounces fragrance mist. So this smells exactly like the Bombshell perfume, just a very diluted version, but I did find that the Bombshell um, Fine Fragrance Mist is actually still really uh, powerful. Um, even though it's not actually the actual perfume, it still has like a really, I don't know how to explain it, like the scent is just still loud is that is that a good way to explain it um I don't know because I, I want to say that the throw is good but I know I'm not talking about candles so I'm not sure what to call it but if you guys get what I mean basically it's a really powerful scent that's a good word for it um even though it is just the body mist and this smells amazing I get compliments all the time um over here I have the Victoria's Secret Angel Gold Fine Fragrance Mist um again this is just a diluted version of the perfume this is super old actually this might be almost eight years old because I got this either right before or right after I started dating Brian. And so, yeah, that was a really long time ago. And I only have a tiny bit left. And honestly, I don't think I'll ever finish it up just because it smells so good and it brings me back to like our first dates. So That's one of the scents that really just brings me back, but they don't sell it anymore. But every time I smell it, it always reminds me of like our first couple of dates in like the fall and winter. So um, that one does have a little bit of sentimental value to me. Um, over here, in case you couldn't tell, I really love the scent teas. So I have it in the mini perfume and then uh, two of the roll-ons. Um, so I actually had this one, then I lost it, so I bought it again, and, um, I, I want to say like a month ago, I found it. So now I have two roll-ons in the mini. I love the Tease perfume. It's definitely one of my favorites from, uh, Victoria's Secret. And then over here, I have some of the fun scents from Victoria's Secret. Um, so I have one of the Fruit Crush, two of the Sugar High, one of the Cake Confetti, and one of the Candy Baby. These all smell so good, but my favorite ultimately has to be the Sugar High scent. It smells so good. It smells exactly like rock candy to me. I'd say my second favorite now would be the Fruit Crush, and then maybe Cake Confetti, and then candy baby but they all smell so good and they're all so pretty i forgot what the collection is called i want to say it's called like the sweet collection or something like that but they all smell so good and even though the sugar high is kind of a light smell it's still super powerful so it's like a powerful um light fluffy smell if that makes sense um over here i have gumdrop the beat this is from victoria's secret pink this one smells so good to me, it kind of smells like pink chiffon from Bath & Body Works. I feel like a lot of people have said that, and yes, the companies are intertwined. So it definitely could just be pink chiffon in the Gumdrop the Beat bottle, but either way, the packaging is so adorable. This was from, I believe it was last winter or the winter before. And you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a little straw inside it for, like it's like a cover around um, like the little straw for the mist. It's so adorable i'm literally in love with it it's so cute okay over here i have this one is from oh what was the collection called i'm really horrible at knowing the names of collections that is something that i really need to work on but this one is uh, these three are from the floralish collection uh this one is punk blooms which is my favorite from the collection petal edge and then studded lily i think petal edge has the best or like not the best, but maybe like the coolest packaging. I think that's the one that kind of like drew me in uh, personally. And then the Studded Lily is my second favorite scent out of all three of them. This one is just very, very nice. It's a gorgeous, beautiful scent. Definitely great to wear uh, somewhere like a wedding. And then over here, I have the Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction and the Victoria's Secret Fair Vanilla Shimmer. 
I really like the shimmer mist just in general it doesn't matter what brand I just feel like that the shimmer mist always um, lasts longer on your skin and on your clothes so for me I just prefer to get the shimmer mist whenever I can but I never have issues with the pure seduction or with the love spell lasting on my clothes or skin for a long time whether or not it has shimmer so um, I, I don't really necessarily have to have the shimmer but it is preferred just because it looks cute of course um, over here I have the banana twist which literally smells like bananas with just a hint of lime it smells amazing um, over here these are oldies but goodies so these two this is the mist this is the lotion this is the palm leaves and tr flower these smell phenomenal and this lotion actually has like a golden shimmery tint to it so it looks really pretty on my skin um, I have a Slay Wet, which is the Vanilla Infusion and Praline. It kind of smells like a vanilla almond to me. It's really pretty. And then I have the Pink Live It Up Body Lotion, which again is super old. This is probably eight years old this winter. Um, I remember one of my best friends gave this to me for Christmas um, eight years ago. So um, we actually became friends like the same week that me and Brian started uh, talking. So kind of funny story. But um Yes, yeah, so I remember she gave this to me, so I use it sparsely because when I smell it, it also reminds me of like when our friendship first started and when I first started dating Brian. And then over here I have Gumdrop the Beat, Sugar High, and Banana Twist in the lotions. I am actually not a, like the biggest fan of their cream lotions. Um, I feel like compared to the Bath and Body Works creams, they just, they're more like a lotion. Like these ones are just... They, they feel more like a lotion. Honestly, some of these are thicker than some of these. Um, but they do smell good. So typically, if uh, Victoria's Secret makes a scent that I really like, that I would like in a lotion, then I'll buy it. But I don't necessarily like buy it because I want it, if that makes sense. Like, I buy it because I want the scent to last longer. But I might just stop buying them in general because... I feel like that the scent kind of dissipates quickly anyway with their creams because... I don't really know why, but the, the consistency is more like a lotion, and I feel like that they don't put enough fragrance in the lotions, so I don't even know if it's worth it, but I only buy the lotions when I fall in love with one of the scents, so yeah, um, that is why I only have three of those, but I do prefer their mists over their lotions. Um, but yeah, so that is my entire Victoria's Secret body care collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below which of these that you guys have in your collection. I'd really love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a glamorous rest of your day. Bye!